Hello, it's Ash. Welcome to this video where we're going to look after your back health. Because lately I've been having a lot of people mentioning all about their back, their lower back in particular, and they're struggling with it. Maybe we're all getting a bit older. I'm starting to feel a pain. But we're going to start with, on your hands and knees. So hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. I'm just going to get a gentle little side to side movement of your spine. Opening up the side your body breathing into it just light and soft through the arms and the shoulders and the neck just settling into your hands and into your knees make sure your body is starting to soften if you've any tension anywhere in your body as you move in see if you can move it out of your body and then from there we're going to start to move into a nice regular cat cow so we're going to Press the belly to the floor, we're going to arch the spine, we're going to look up. And as we breathe out, you're going to go chin to your chest and round through your back. Really tuck your pelvis under. So you're breathing in here, press your belly to the floor, chin comes up. Rounding through your back, really exhale. So you have 24 vertebrae in your back, each one has a disc in between the vertebrae. And those discs get nourished by this movement. So see if you can move every single one of them. Really articulate each one. Work into each one. Nourish those joints, those discs. Use those muscles, those little muscles down the side of your spine. Give it a little wiggle. Just come out of it, soften. And then we're going to go bring the right hand up and the left leg back. Squeeze your bum. On the left leg, on the left side. Imagine that you've got a tray of drinks here on your back. You're going to hold this nice and still and strong. Breathe as we do it. So you're squeezing your left bum, your lower back, strong through the right shoulder. And as the intensity starts to increase, make sure you're still breathing in and out through the nose if you can. Release, and then we're just going to have a look and a nice little shake, loosen up. I'm going to go to the opposite side, so left hand up, right leg kicks up. Squeeze the bum, the lower back, strong through the tummy. Breathing, keeping your head down, looking towards the floor. So your neck stays neutral. Feel that work that's going on in your body. There's areas of your body now that are really having to work hard. So keep breathing and stay with it for a couple more seconds. And then when it can come down from that, again, just get a nice little side to side opening of the spine. Loosen through the neck, the shoulders. And then we are going to come down onto your front in the moment. Stretch your legs out long, slowly lower yourself down onto your front. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders, touch your toes together. Let's get a little bit of a look over one shoulder and the other. Settle into this position, breathe, soften the hands, the elbows and the pelvis and legs into the floor. And get that nice, nourishing, natural arch into the lower back area. Draw your shoulders back slightly. Breathe into the belly button, in and out through the nose. Try not to overly force this position. And then we're going to start to come down in a moment. And we're going to bring the hands out wide in like a cactus position. We're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together so the elbows lift up off the floor. And then keeping the feet on the floor, we're just going to squeeze the head and chest off the floor. Really squeeze those lower back muscles. That's one. We're going to do 10. Nice and slow down. Squeezing those lo back lower back muscles up again for two. And up again. Three. Down. I'm going to go up again for four. Slowly releasing. Again, squeezing up. Really squeeze those back muscles for five. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Coming up. Six. We go again, up again for seven. You'll feel that heat now, you'll feel that work, that strengthening. Coming up again for eight, down, up again for nine, one more, 
nice good squeeze up for 10 and then slowly release and just let everything settle in your back and your shoulders and your neck just have a little wiggle through the hips and the pelvis i'm going to go a little bit deeper into this movement now so you can take a more supported version if you need to rest in the feet on the floor we're going to take the hands by your side palms face the floor squeeze the shoulder blades together lift the head and chest Again, you could extend the feet off the floor as well. If that's too much, just take the feet down. We're going to hold this here. So we're going to really strengthen into your back here. So when the heat comes and you feel that your head and chest and your feet are dropping to the floor, squeeze back up, really work into those back muscles. If you're getting pain, obviously come down and release, but we want a, like a burning, working type feeling. Strengthen into those muscles and then release and again let everything soften down have a little wiggle breathe And then we're just going to come up in a moment I'm going to come onto your hands and knees so knees underneath your hips Hands underneath your shoulders And then we're going to place the forehead in between the hands and then take the hands into Namaste above your head. Push your chest and your belly button down to the floor. And then you're going to walk the elbows out away from your armpits. So you really compress that shoulder blade, that shoulder area, the chest area down to the floor. Feel that nice stretch through the back of the arms and into the shoulder blades. Nice arch into the lower back. Breathe into the belly button. Let your body soften into the floor. Let any tension release from your body. Notice how it feels. And then we're just going to slowly start to come up out of that now. We're going to really slowly work up. And then twisting over onto our back. And gently coming onto our back, we're going to work... Feet as wide as your hips or slightly wider. Good bend in the knees. Make sure your shoulder blades and your head is soft into the floor. So give it a little roll, soften down. And then we're going to do some nice squeezes through the lower back and the bum. We're going to do some hip thrusts. We're going to do 15. You can follow my pace. You can look at the screen if you want to. Or you can go at your own pace. So we're going to inhale the hips up. Squeeze your bum and your lower back. And as you exhale, slowly lower as your hips touch the floor. Inhale, back up. That's two. That's three for me. Getting a slight little pause at the top. So we're going to go all the way for 15. That's four. If you do your 15 quicker than me, you can just hold at the top if you feel like you want some extra work. Or you can just pause at the bottom. Make sure you're squeezing the bum. Getting that little bit of a pause at the top. Squeeze the lower back muscles. Try not to tense through the neck and shoulders as you do that. Press the feet strongly into the floor. And your breathing is coordinated with your movement of your body. And think about, or feel that strength work that we're doing into the lower back, into the bum. Those muscles that we really need to help stabilise our pelvis and our spine. To help support our spine. So almost there. A little bit of a squeeze at the top. And a nice little gentle windscreen wiper of the knees left and right. I'm going to take my arms out nice and wide. And just gently looking in the opposite direction as the knees go to the left. Chin goes to the right. Knees go to the right, chin to the left, just loosening. Nice, easy, light movements, breathing in and out of the nose, feeling good. Feeling that work that I've done. You know that you nourished your spine, looking after your back health. I'm going to bring the knees slowly into your chest now. I'm going to do a little bit of a massage, using the floor as a massage tool. Move those legs around so it presses your lower back into the mat or the floor. And it massages those little muscles all the way around the back. If you find little areas like that that feel tender, you just work into them. 
just getting some blood flow into them, softening. Again, breathing as we do it. And just checking how everything feels in that area. And I'm just going to work our way back up to seated. Noticing how your body feels. I'm going to say thank you for practicing along with me. Well done for looking after your back health. I hope you enjoyed this short little practice. Come back to it regularly to help your back out. Thank you very much for following along. <laughs>